Hi Cancer, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my forecast for you for the week of November the 14th, 2016. Okay, so we do have a full moon. You're ruled by the moon. So um, it's in your solar 11th house right at the start of the week. So um, something could go down around some friends this week. Okay, it can come out of the blue. Uh, you can get some closure on a situation. Some of you might decide to walk away from a situation that you feel hasn't been great for you for a while. Um, whatever it is, it's, you know, a, a full moon generally is endings and beginnings rather than, you know, the beginning. Something sort of closes to open the next door up. So in that sense, it's, you know, very positive, very good. can be a little bit unsettling. Certainly for me, I have a Cancer moon born on the moon. I'm sure I've told you that many times. So I find it quite, quite unsettling. Now, right opposite, we've got uh, Venus and Pluto. Now, there is a very favorable connection with Venus and Neptune. In fact, there are a couple of interactions with Neptune this week, and Neptune does come out of its retrograde transit at the end of the week. So for you, it's in your solar ninth house that at the vibration of Neptune is um, quite in, intuitive, imaginative. Uh, it's in the ninth the house, slow moving planet, been there for a while, going to be there for a while, uh, can indicate that there's um, a, a, a greater concentration or perhaps interest in spirituality uh, and your faith or religion in some way and to open, open up to your beliefs. I mean, you know, sometimes as we grow, we change, we learn, and you know, our beliefs can change along with that. So it's up to us to stay up to date and allow ourselves to invite change in and adopt it, okay? And that certainly can be happening for you um, over this time. Now, there is a square also with um, Mercury and Neptune. So this is a indication that do you want to pay attention to your health and well-being? Pay, tune into your body and make sure you give it what it needs. A cancer needs sleep. You need some quiet time. Um, you need some integration time. So, you know, make sure you give that to yourself. Also, um, your day-to-day -day planning and productivity um, leave it a little bit flexible, particularly over the following weekend, okay? Now, uh, right at the start of the week, there's a um, favorable interaction between Mercury and Mars. So, um, if you've been waiting on a decision or a discussion to come through about monetary matters, that can happen this week as well. The, that doorway opens. All right, so I hope it is good for you, and um, I hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.